This is Replicant Fish. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if this is your first time here, your first time on this channel, well, what we do here is, is we run a dating website called Ratchet and Clank. Yes, Ratchet and Clank dating services. So, so if you're on the lookout for a more savage, ghetto-minded hood type chick, then subscribe now. If you're into women with stab wounds and bullet wounds, then subscribe now. If you're into women that carry a handgun in their underwear, then subscribe now. And if you're into the types of women that would strangle you for smoking their last joint, then subscribe now. We also accept people on benefits and welfare. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> joke, joke, joke. Once again, a joke. But seriously, seriously. This channel is more channel for the awesome. Not just the awesome, no, beyond the awesome. This is a place for the sci-fi minded, the creative minded, the deep thinkers, the everyday coffee drinking philosophers. Or tea, if you like to drink tea. Or some sort of vegan latte drink, whatever. But can you feel it? And in saying that, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling well, feeling good. And also, I hope you felt yourself today, yes. And if you're a woman, thoroughly. Get in there. Seriously, it's a joke, joke, joke. <laughs> joke. But to the topic. To the reason you're all here. She's high maintenance. She requires a high level of maintenance, a high level of care and attention. But why is she so high maintenance? What does she bring to you? What does she give to you? What does she bring to the table that would make her so high maintenance and you being the handyman to take care of and maintain her? What is so special about her? The thing is, some women, you can understand why they may be high maintenance. They may be very attractive. She may be hot. She may be fine. Indeed. So because of this, she gets quite a lot of attention from many men. So this can give a woman many, many options. She can have the rough bad boy if she wants to. She can have the educated lame if she wants to. She could have the rich thrill seeker. She can be something fun for a very rich Arab. Hmm? Who knows? Or she could be your woman. The thing is, some women carry themselves to this high level. Because they understand what they can get, from their perspective, any man that wants to be with them, he has to, in a sense, pay the cost to be the boss. Not really the boss, but you understand what I mean. But not only to pay to have her in his life, no. It's also to do other things to maintain her, to keep her content. The money is not enough, it's something, but also, it's what you as the man are doing. To continually remind her, of her worth, of her value. In a recent video I said how women need reassurance, how if you've had a girlfriend in your life, a wife or whatever, you understand there's a certain level of reassurance to constantly remind her that yeah she looks good, yeah, you still want to sleep with her, you're not going to leave her and all that crap. But with a high maintenance woman, it's almost an extreme level of reassurance of who she is. Because some high maintenance women Demand that you as a man pander to them. Bend the knee. Doesn't matter what you're giving her. It's also how you as a man should act towards her. Because she's so valuable, she can get another you in a minute, you know? All those lemonade and Beyonce quotes, all that crap. So you as a man should be extra humble that she is giving you her time. Now the reason why many high maintenance women could actually cost you a bit is because of the fact of if they look good, they would want to keep up that look. And with the look comes the lifestyle. So of course, she can't be seen with a cheap phone, a crap car, living in a crap place, wearing crap clothes. No, come on. She sees herself as high class. You can't see her as anything but that. But you see, the thing about high maintenance women is what they teach other women, what other women learn from them, and how it could then make regular, everyday, standard women assume they should be treated in such a way. Because some women see these foul attitude women and they see how these women are being treated well by these men that have money and have status and they think to themselves, well, I'm not as bad as her. 
I deserve to be treated well as well, like a queen. It's to the point where many women assume they should be seen as high maintenance, not because they're much work, but because they're so valuable. Thus, you as a regular man, you should be humbled and happy that a woman of such class is giving you attention. And aside from other women learning this from other women, it's how men, very simpish men, are teaching women to expect this. To expect men to be and do this. So everyday men that can't do it, that can't match up to those high standards, obviously then he's seen as crap. There's nothing wrong with him, but because of certain, let's say, cultural or societal narratives, many women fool themselves and they raise the bar so high that no man, no man could ever fit the bar. And what many women don't understand is they're not worth the bar being raised so high. They just assume that they do no wrong, that they have no need to improve, that their attitude is fine, that the way they carry on and go on is fine. So because of the many enablers that enable them to do this and think this way, it then makes many women very difficult to date. Because of that fact, and the fact that they don't see that there's a problem, they think they're fine, everything's fine. They're just trying to be like that woman over there. Because of some jealousy, some envy of what she has and the lifestyle she has. And this is the thing about the internet, about social media, how you can see how it does, how it does affect everyone. But the way it affects women is interesting, it's very interesting. And this is why I say to sometimes step back and look at the broader picture. Look at what you can see. You see, some women don't understand or they just don't care that their ridiculously high demands the demands of a triple six man or a Prince Charming, they don't understand that that thought is so unrealistic that it's giving them this savage attitude and making them undateable, making them unattractive. Many women are high maintenance because many men are willing to pay the price for those women. But women should understand, all of you can't do that. If everyday women assume they could do that, what happens is it makes it harder for regular men to date you to want to be around you or even with you. And even when you ask women what they bring to the table, modern women are so up themselves, they assume they don't need to bring anything or they assume that they are everything already. There needs to be no table because without them there is no table anyway, that sort of thinking. And this is why women assume that they are the prize. Some would say no one is the prize. But the reason I believe we as men are the prize is Women have no power over us as men unless we want them. I say this all the time. It's very simple. A woman can be high maintenance for herself. She can afford it modern times. She can afford to pay for herself. But the point is, many women are creating and building certain lifestyles that are not only unrealistic, but it's to a point where no man would even want to attempt to be that. To have you. To have her. The good thing about being a man is that we can see it on a different level to the way they assume they see it. Many women do have their heads in the clouds and are very delusional to the way the world really is. You see the one thing we know as men? That we know as men? If the world goes to crap, if all the comfort of modern society goes away, who will then be needed to fix and repair and rebuild, hunt and do all of those things? It would be the ones who have done it since time began. Men. You see, as men, we have power when there is structure and society, and also when there is none. That is the point. We as men know we have the power to give. Thus, it's to understand that we are the prize. And that's not up for debate. The good thing about being a man is that we know. A fact is a fact. Reality is undeniable. Focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.